Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to determine uh, the nth rule of a geometric sequence when we know that a sub 2 equals negative 1 and a sub 5 equals negative 27. Now, the tough thing that comes in with this problem is to find the general rule. You can see you know, n is going to be our rule. Our n is going to be the number that we want to find. We're given a sub 2 and a sub 5. What if we want to find a sub 18? Well, we need a formula that we can plug in 18 to be able to evaluate for that. Um, and to find the rule, we need to know what a sub 1 and what r is. And we do not know either. So when we have subsequent terms, we can just divide, you know, take the term and divide it by its previous term to find the r. But these two terms are not subsequent. They're not right next to each other. So I can't you know, say negative 27 divided by negative 1 and say my ratio is 27 um, because they're not right next to each other. So what I need to do is I need to determine r. And one way I can do that is take the information that I have and plug it into our, our general formula. Now, our general formula has a sub n and a sub 1. What I'm going to do is I'm going to replace a sub n with 5 and a sub 1 with 2. And wherever, the fi wherever my 5 goes in for n, I'm going to replace the n with a 5. Wherever my 2 goes in for a 1, I'm going to replace a 2. So therefore, I'm going to write a sub 5 equals a sub 2 times r raised to the 5 minus 2. So what I pretty much did, since I have two terms that are not a sub 1 or a sub n, I replaced the a sub n's with a sub 5's and the, and the n with 5. And I replaced the a sub 1 with a sub 2 and the 1 with 2 in the equation. Now, I can, now let's go ahead and evaluate. Let's plug in what we have. So a sub 5 is negative 27 is equal to a sub 2, which is negative 1, times r raised to the 5 minus 2 is 3. Now let's go and solve for r, which will give us our ratio. Um, ba, 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 ba. So I'll divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1. Positive 27 equals r cubed. Take the cube root on both sides. Therefore, the cube root of 27 is going to be 3 is equal to r. So now I know what the r is, right? Um, so that means to go from a sub 2 to a sub 3, I'm going to multiply by 3. So if I want to figure out a sub 1, I'm just going to divide by 3. So now I can say that a sub 1 equals uh, negative 1 third. We know a sub 2 would be negative 3. Um, a, sub, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5, yes. Um, so a sub 1 equals negative 3, and r equals 3. Now let's just plug that information into our formula, a sub 1, or a sub n. So for any number, it's going to be negative 1 third times 3 raised to the n minus 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find your geometric sequence when given two terms um, that are not a sub 1 or r. Thanks.